Hi, this is Morley, and this is the M-Wire. Well, we have a little bit of movement in Georgia, folks. Georgia's Fulton County e-board likely not happy with e-audit moving forward because judge has added them to the case. I absolutely love the wording of this. That is that is beautiful. Likely not happy. I bet they're not happy. I bet they're glad that they went and got that high-priced law firm that they hired a few months ago as well. All we need to do is get RAF in the mix here, and that group rate that I was joking about a couple of weeks ago is becoming more and more of a real thing here. That's absolutely fantastic. The Fulton County E-Board is not so happy with the case being brought by Garland Favorito because they have now been added to it. Several individuals of the Fulton County E-Board were added to the case last week by the judge. The order handed down by a Georgia judge dismissed several claims brought against governmental entities of Fulton County and sovereign immunity grounds. However, What is not well known is that the judge allowed the five members of Fulton County's Board of Registration and Ease to be named in the suit. Aw, folks, they're not happy. Isn't that sad that they've been named to the suit? Aw, poor things. I'm sure they have recurring visions of them being tied down and waterboarded at Gitmo. Oh, I'd be unhappy too if that was my future. Sovereign immunity is a legal doctrine that holds the governmental parties are protected from many and most forms of lawsuits. In Amero's ruling, he notes that the Georgia law stipulates that no suit alleging violations of due process or equal protection rights under the Georgia Constitution that seek declaratory injunctive relief may be initiated against either the state or the county barring a waiver from the state legislature or the state constitution. Yet, even as he dismissed the government parties in the suit, Amero subsequently moved to add the five members of Fulton County Elections Board as parties pursuant to request from the petitioners in the case. So he's basically named these people individually onto the docket. And the Gateway Pundit was good enough to leave this, folks. Look at this. They were good enough to leave the email addresses of four of the five people that are named in the suit. There they are, folks, for your trolling enjoyment. If you want some entertainment this afternoon, just send these people an email and tell them exactly what you think about their names being added to the suit. Today is turning out to be a great day for news, folks. I know we're going to have a lot of ups and downs, but you got to ride the wave while the wave is happening, right? This is fantastic. So I just wanted to bring you this little tidbit of information that they're now officially part of the suit. And please remember to like, to comment, to share, and of course to subscribe to this channel as well as my backup channel in the description box. Thank you so much and God bless.